great. Now what? sound hey guys so today i just wanted to share what's been happening for me during the last week i took part in this thing called hosting the angels and it was introduced to me by lucia tai uh, i mentioned her before she is the one that created the amplify heart groups which i'm still a part of we try to meet every week to do different kind of spiritual things and meditate and so lucy was taking part in this or what to call it, this thing that, that someone had forwarded to her. So it's kind of like a pay it forward thing. You do it for a while and then when it's done, you share it with someone else. Um, and it's called Hosting the Angels. There's a website called patriciaparentreiki.com. Basically what you do is you invite about the five major archangels in and you host them for five days and you pay it forward and you send them to your family and friends. So it's the five major archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Metatron. Not Megatron, Metatron. I was really excited about this. I was looking forward to doing another angel video, but I knew the right time would just come and here it is. So um, I really wanna thank Lucy Atai for sharing that with me. The last week has been some of the most incredible supernatural, spiritual, energetic experiences I think of my life, guys. It was so powerful. It was kind of building up to this over the last few weeks, connecting with the Council of Light, which I shared in my last video. I don't expect everyone to have the experience that I've had in the last week, um, only because I've worked my way up to this point, raising my vibration and uh, being really open uh, to have an experience like this. So I just, uh, I don't want to go too much into the, uh, the rituals and stuff of connecting with them through the way it's described on this website. You guys can just look at it yourself. Um, I went through it and read it and it was just loaded with a bunch of rituals, candles, and writing things and all sorts of stuff that I just kind of grew out of over time. I don't have anything personally against rituals. I just feel like rituals to me were always um, a tool to make me feel like whatever I was trying to accomplish was done. I don't think angels need us to do rituals to invite them in. It's more like we need to do them so that we can feel confident that we feel open and safe and ready to welcome in that energy. So for me, I read through all the rituals and I was like, this, it just didn't vibe with me. So my ritual was just to sit in silence and invite them in very simply. You just have to know yourself. Like if you're not confident to open yourself up to other dimensions. And yes, doing all those rituals of protection and such, I think are probably better for you. When you start opening yourself up to this whole supernatural world, you kind of have to go through what I call like initiations or levels of um, overcoming. I have gone through a lot, just a lot of negative experiences, but I've always just kept diving in fearlessly, you know, because of my level of curiosity. I want you guys to explore your supernatural self, but you need to do it safely. You need to know where you are vibrationally. You need to know how much you can handle. That's my little disclaimer on all of this. So I'm going to share with you what has been happening for me, but just please don't expect this level of experience to happen for you unless you've put in the work and you are open and fearless. I still have my fears but I've, I've overcome the biggest part of that aspect. So I feel, I feel very confident with connecting with the other side. Okay, so this is a five day hosting of the angel. So if you watched my last video on the Council of Light, I was blessing my energy centers every night like I always do up to my eighth energy center and just opening a portal there and connecting with them and having all sorts of crazy um, experiences. So uh, on day one, I was blessing all my energy centers and um, inviting them in. Once I got to my crown, I said, welcome archangels to my home. Please bless me with your healing frequencies. And I just went in and out of consciousness like that throughout the night. And I woke up in the middle of the night just feeling this crazy energy, vibration, just blissful, blissful head to toe. And right away I just had this confidence that I could connect with the angels. So I called them one by one. I can't really remember all the qualities of every angel, but uh, the ones that I did, I uh, asked for certain blessings. 
And so with Archangel Michael, I invited him in and asked him to give me protective shielding. And uh, it was crazy. Like I immediately felt this frequency just like just, 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 just coming over me, descending over me head to toe. And it was so powerful. And I was just like smiling, lying there, trying to be relaxed and feel the frequencies. And I just kept saying, thank you. Thank you for your blessings. And then I called on the next angel. Every angel was showering me, blessing me with their own unique frequency. And I could feel the difference in each one of them. Can't remember which one, but I think it was either Gabriel or Uriel. They were just focused like on my face. Like I could just feel all this stuff happening to my face. And when I called on Archangel Raphael, it was just like all this green light coming in. The last one I called on was Archangel Metatron. And I've always had this connection with him. When I receive blessing from him, it's always his uh, sacred cube of geometry and it, it like oscillates and it just goes through me and I feel like this spinning, oscillating geometric cube just going through me and integrating everything for me. And it was just such a magical experience. I was just blown away by it. Just the difference in the frequencies just how I was able to ask them in with so much confidence and knowing. It was just like on-demand healing from the angels. I just felt like I just knew they were going to do it and they did it on demand as I called them in. And it was just like this crazy feeling of oneness and I don't want to say power, but I felt, I felt very powerful. And that night, uh, it just went to the next level. So I, I slipped into a dream after that. And I've been watching this show called Race by Wolves. It's a very graphic show. It's kind of disturbing, but I really love sci-fi, so I watched it. And um, there's a character, the main character, her name is Mother, and she's an android. And I don't want to spoil too much if you haven't watched it yet, but she transforms into this, into what they called a necromancer. I know it's not a good word, but um, she turns into like this like enhanced version of her robotic self and she just jumps up vertically and starts flying around like that and she transforms into this, um, this enhanced robotic android. And the first time I saw her do that, I was just like overwhelmed with, I don't know, this feeling of just like, I wanna be her. <laughs> just that feeling of power and just flying vertically. I don't know, it was just very powerful for me and every episode where she transformed into this version of herself, it just, it, it just did something to me emotionally, energetically. And I was talking to my sister and she felt the same way like when she saw that. I was like, oh, okay, it's not just me. Like, I was so moved by that. And although she's like a murderous, psychotic robot, um, I just really felt that was so cool and I wanted to be like her. So anyway, I slip into this dream and I just jump up and I'm her. I, tra I feel myself transformed into this like higher, version of myself, all metallic, and I'm flying, I'm flying like vertically like this, just like flying through this beautiful landscape, and the landscape was moving and morphing and changing, but I was doing all of that with my mind. I was transforming the landscape all around me, changing the colors, changing the shapes with my mind, and I just felt so powerful, just like I could do anything. Man, I just, I've never felt this level of just power. Doing this for a while, um, I don't think I was lucid. I was in a dream state, but I just had so much mental power. Somewhere along the dream, I ended up at this compound and I just knew that there were, it was full of children. I knew I had to save them. And I just used my mind to just like free them from this compound. <laughs> and hundreds and hundreds of children are just running out of this compound. They were entering this terrain that was very dangerous and I just morphed the, tr the terrain with my mind and just to make it easier for them to escape. And it was just this level of power. It was so insane. And as you know, I've been studying what my dreams mean ever since I took that David Wilcock course on dream interpretation. And, and yeah, I guess there was just some part of me that was being liberated, you know, maybe a childhood trauma of some kind that was being liberated. This was just such a powerful feeling that night. Anyway, so the second 
night, second night was very, very similar, exact same thing, the angels came in, I had this blissful feeling, they showered me with their frequencies. Then I had this dream that um, somebody grabbed me and said, hey, you have to come with me. And he was uh, a positive being and he was like, just come with me, come with me. And he guided me up this vertical bridge, it seemed like, and it, we were just running up this this bridge and it was just getting steeper and higher and higher and higher. And then we started going through the clouds and I was getting like super vertigo. <laughs> But he said, you gotta come with me, it's very important. And we just kept running and running and I was holding on to him. And we went through the clouds and it was evening. And then there was all these people there and they were just like dancing on the clouds and we were dressed really, really nice and having an amazing time. And he kept telling me like, you just have to stay up here as long as you can. If you can manage to stay up here for, I don't know, I forgot how much time it was, it was something like two hours then you will receive like a prize and so I was really determined to stay up there and not lose my cool and hang out with these people um, so that I can get this prize. Um, what I learned from David Wilcock, anytime you are moving quickly or ascending upwards it means that you're growing spiritually so for me that was a good sign that I was growing spiritually. Yeah that was day two. Day three I decided I was gonna dedicate that night to my boyfriend. So when the angels came through, they worked on me. And then I was like, can you please work on my boyfriend? And he was in a deep sleep. So I did the same thing. I called on each angel and I could feel them, like the energy that was passing through him, I could feel it like brushing against the side of me as it was going through him. And he was shaking like he normally does when I do healing on him, but he was making like these vocalizations like oh, oh, oh. and um, I was getting concerned about the way he was breathing and in my mind I just said to him breathe and I was just like breathe in breathe out and as soon as I said that he followed my guidance I did that back and forth with him to calm him down so he could accept the frequencies. And yeah, he told me he had, he had some very interesting dreams that night. And in the mornings, he, he also had some epiphanies and he started like writing down these graphs and stuff. I don't know, it was very interesting. I think he's gonna write a book one day about all the, uh, about his epiphany, but it was just like one page of, of his great book that he's gonna write one day. Yeah, so uh, day four was not very interesting, not much happened. And then day five, I just said a little prayer to send them to specific people in my life that I've been sharing this with. So my best friend and my sister. That's happening today. We'll see what will happen for them. I get a lot of people asking me, how do I get over my fears so that I can have experiences like you? And there's no easy way to skip that part. When I was first tapping into this world, of the supernatural, you know, a lot of scary things happened. And in my last angel video, I also shared that I had a woman come to me posing as an angel and speaking to me very clearly in my ears, telling me that they wanted me to take my channel down, they wanted me to take that video down about them, that, you know, I wasn't portraying them correctly. And, you know, I feel like I leveled up because I used my discernment and I was able to discern that that was somebody trying to trick with me or mess with me. I feel like because I didn't um, run and hide into a hole and stop progressing, that I was able to go to the next level. Okay, so think of it as a way of gaining the respect of the dark side. I know that sounds weird, but I really feel like since I stood up to the dark beings in, in my experiences, I feel like I have their respect and they're not gonna mess with me anymore because I was able to face it. You know, my only advice is dive in, bring it on. Know that you're going to be okay. No matter what happens in that plane, they can't hurt you. It takes a really, really intense level of dark energy to actually physically harm you. You would really, really have to be so in tune with that, right? So, you know, trust in the light, trust in your, your level of awareness and use your discernment. Everything that I receive, every experience that I have, I always question it and use my discernment 
to make sure that I'm grounded, to make sure that I'm not letting it get to my head. So even the experience that I've had in the last week, it was so profound, but I, I know it's not the end all, the be all, you know, there's still more, there's still infinite things for me to learn, right? So I, I always feel humbled by my experiences and I always still feel like a beginner, guys. Like, you know, a lot of you guys think that I've got all of it, got it all figured out, but I don't. I, in many ways, I feel like a beginner. I, I feel like there's just so much that I haven't learned yet. There's so much wisdom that I haven't um, received yet. I just want to share with you my experience to inspire you to go forward, but I don't have it all figured out. So yeah, if you guys want to try this, just have the right intention in your heart and invite them. Invite them in and see what happens. If you're overcome with fear, sit with that and ask for help with that. There's one thing that I did for years when I was connecting with this whole supernatural world. I always asked angels and higher beings to remove my fear. Please remove my fear, remove my fear. And I would, this was a prayer that I always had. Even just like last week, I had a fear because I was just startled, woken up, and I'm hearing all this stuff in my ears. And because I've had so much practice in the last week, I'm feeling really zen, I'm feeling really connected, and the fear is just gone. And that can change next week if I lose all that momentum and not do the, the fine-tuning work that I'm doing every night, right? So every night, blessing my energy centers, focusing on my higher chakras, and using the intention to connect with a higher divine source, and diligently trying to tune into that every night, I feel like if I stop doing that for a week, then I'm probably not going to be tuned in and I might get something that I don't want to get. I mean, when I first started doing this, I was tuning into radio stations. <laughs> okay, I was just hearing random radio stations. You just have to put in the work, not get de deterred by the scary things that happen because if you don't face those things, you're never going to be able to reach the level that you want to get to. You're never going to be able to tune into those higher frequencies because you got to get through all of those lower ones first, right? Be honest with yourself, know where you're at if you're going to do something like this and connect with the other side. Use ritual if you need to, to make yourself feel more protected. Do whatever you gotta do. Sage the room, light some candles, say some incantations, whatever it takes to make you feel like you're ready, you're protected. Okay, I've done all that I can do to create the state of being that can welcome in these higher vibrations. I feel like I don't need to do that anymore, but if you feel like you need to, then definitely do it. One of my friends, she um, she's very connected to the angels. She does angel card readings. Um, I've mentioned her before. Her name is Jaguruthi. I'm gonna put her information below because she does these incredible angel card readings for people and the responses people get for her readings are just, their minds are blown. Like she is always spot on, they always see like miracles and stuff that she's talked about in the cards throughout their day. So I wanted to have her on, um, but she's a little bit shy at the moment and doesn't want to be on camera yet, which I understand. I will put her information below. And if any of you guys get a reading with her, let me know. And that's all I wanted to share today. I should have my sister on soon. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye. Um, Hey guys, what is that banging sound?